Hello everyone, welcome back to the Valley of the Mist Quilt Guild. This is the Round Robin for 2021. I'm Adrienne Ritter. And I'm Shelley McNeely. And we're here to talk about the April installment of our Round Robin. If you don't want to see what we're doing, <laughs> don't watch. Just look at the instructions on the website. But we're going to show you what we are doing with our Round Robins this month. So what were the, what were the instructions this month? Okay. That Pretty sure the instructions were essentially to make it so one side is 24 inches, but the dimensions would be 24 inches by 34 inches. Your final size. Right. So you're starting out with 24 by 24 approximately. And you're going to add, what you forgot to say is you're going to add a border. And it can be one or two borders to make it to that dimension, which means you either add one big border on one side or you add two borders and they don't have to be even they can be it's the equivalent of a 10 inch border that you're adding um, so basically if you're doing two even borders they're five and a half inch borders that you add because you lose a half inch for each of the seams and the other instruction oh, was yes. you have to use triangles somewhere somehow in your border and that is up to you. Now, when I've done a round robin before, I and I was doing it for my friends, uh, and it was their quilt I was working on, it pushes you to do something special with your, your borders. Because basically the round robin is a series of adding borders. Right. So Shelly, she, that's, <laughs> what did you do Shelly? I added, uh, um, Flying, flying geese. geese. <laughs> I learned wonk, well, or like uh, wonky length flying geese. We took a class yes. on how to make um, kind of free form curved flying geese. Right. Oh, curved. That was the yeah. term, yeah. Uh, last uh, two years ago, right. or a year and a half ago, with right. uh, one of the guild um, workshops. Right. And uh, so these are paper pieced. Right. I'm talking for you, Shelly. Yes. Come on. You always say I talk too much. Do some talking. <laughs> yes, I did the. Uh, you draw them out yourself, however you want, you know, in a, the size you need, and you do some curves and put some flying geese in there. I, you'd have to look, you can look online if you're interested in doing that on ways to do it. So, or you could just make yeah. um, five and a half inch yeah. wide flying geese right. and do them a normal way. Right. Um, I think there's even calculations to get them to the right size. As you can see, hers are all different sizes right. to get down to that final size that right. she needed. Um, okay, so me, I was actually working on the April block of the month, which um, for this round robin, only we're only um, going back and referring to the block of the month every other month. So this month, you don't need to do anything from the block of the month. But coincidentally, <laughs> our block of the month had edges that had triangles in it. And I thought, huh. I just can take and make some of these edges like in our April block. And um, so that's what I did. I have two five and, a, five and a half inch borders that I put on. Um, and they were actually also two that are sewn together. So it's really four strips that I've done, two on each side to make mine. And um, it's triangle-rific. <laughs> that's the only way I can describe that border. Yes. So. That's, that's it. You're, you need to end up with something close to 24 by 34. Um, if it's a little bigger, a little smaller, don't worry. It's your quilt. And do it as crazy as you want. Yeah, uh, but, but we do want you to try something you, maybe you haven't done before. Push yourself to do a little more fancy border right. than you normally would. Right. All right, and we will see you back in May.